Hi, I'm Richard Myersko from Ocean Rodeo Sports, located in Victoria, British Columbia. We're really known for well-designed equipment and being very innovative. We were some of the early pioneers in kiteboarding. We could exist and do extremely well just with MacGyver-style design and, and innovation. And as the sport matured, the equipment from all the brands, especially the bigger brands, started to get, get a lot more polished. Design parameters were being put in place, safety specs. That, that got a little tricky for us as a small brand because we didn't have access to a, a leading edge test facility or the ability to do stress testing on all, all of our materials. So we were at a disadvantage. We were working on a new product that we, we patented. It was called the Backline Trim and it was a new way of trimming kites that had never been done before. The problem was that it required some external lines running along the control bar of the kite, so we couldn't use traditional aluminum tubing. We had to start working with injection molded plastics that were going to be holding a lot of load. I guess it was about 2015, we started working with Camosun. We came with a, a huge problem. Our, our first samples of our backline trim bar, the, the, uh, the plastic that was recommended to us by a, a designer we worked with originally was failing. They were a small company of about eight people with limited budget. They just invested pretty well, most of their R&D money into this new game-changing control bar and they were breaking. I was blown away by the facility here, and I thought, hold it. I mean, we could be working much more closely with Camosun. Camosun Innovates is a department within Camosun College that focuses on providing small to medium-sized companies access to technology and innovation expertise to allow them to grow their companies successfully. This program utilizes both students and dedicated staff. Our research is informed by the actual companies bringing their challenges to us. I call it boots on the ground innovation, where we actually work with the industry partner to create a technology that they can commercialize. We came to Camosun and 100% found the solution. There was not only finding the right materials, but actually redesigned the components to withstand the forces. We solved their problem. We figured out how it was breaking and then helped design it so that they would have a working prototype. Because it was such a successful product, the bigger companies in the kiteboarding industry that have a bigger market share could use that technology, so they started licensing the technology, so they built a whole new line of business because of that control bar. I found that working with Camosun was unbelievable. The students and graduates coming out of here fully trained in 3D printing, CNC, they're CAD aware, and you can just sort of put them to work right away. Just three or four years ago, I didn't have a single mechanical engineer working for us. We now have five full-time mechanical engineers. The majority have been hired straight out of Camosun. Universities, colleges, all contribute to innovation in Canada. The more we get out there and, and share our success stories, the more industry is learning uh, the benefits of coming to a college to help with their innovative needs. It's completely changed my business. We didn't realize how ignorant we were to designing of certain types of products. Without a doubt, we're probably now the world leader in these components within our market space. They are able to plug into our services when they need it and have access to our technology and our expertise to actually help support their research and development. Canada Foundation for Innovation funding is very important because it provides us access to technology that we wouldn't normally be able to afford. That equipment goes a long way to help provide tools for us so that we can actually do the research we do. We can win on innovation and great products. That's how we can get our company to be number one in the world. We can't compete with other countries if we don't have access to this technology. Simple as that.